Hello everyone and welcome back into the Blopar YouTube channel today with myself Joe Stevens. Today I'd like to talk to you about five things that we should be doing as golfers during lockdown that's going to improve our golf without necessarily playing golf itself. The reason I want to bring you this video today is because the whole aim of our channel, myself and Joe, we want to help improve your golf games. And at the moment, none of us in the UK are allowed to be on the golf course. Hopefully, fingers crossed, golf will be one of the first things that we're allowed to do when the lockdown restrictions ease. So today, without further ado, this is gonna be a really quick fire video. I'm gonna give you some ideas as to what you should be doing during lockdown. Now, number one, it's a really, really obvious one, but something that I certainly would endorse and I'm sure that everybody would have guessed that this would be on the list and it is exercise. Exercise is so, so important, not only for your golf, but just for general well-being and mental health as well. With being indoors all day long, locked down, everywhere's closed apart from the supermarkets, exercise is so, so important. Get yourself out there, get some fresh air. I know it's a little bit more difficult in this edition of lockdown because it's still winter, but the rewarding feeling once you are back from a run, a walk, a bike ride, whatever it might be that you choose, it really is re rewarding. And you're able to put your feet up and enjoy the fact that you've earned that extra little biscuit when you're sat down in front of the TV. Not only to mention that is, when we're out on the golf course, if we've been sat down for, let's say, six weeks, hopefully it's no more than six weeks, if we've been sat down doing nothing, it'll be a bit sh it will be a bit of a shock to the system when we're allowed to get back on the out onto the golf course again because when we play golf, we walk a heck of a long way. So it'll be a shock to the system for the legs. If we can go out there fresh, having plenty of miles in the legs or whatever it might be that you choose to do, that is definitely going to help your golf game and help your mental well-being as well. Point number two is read. If you don't want to read, listen to a podcast, listen to an audio book. I'll put some recommendations in the link in the description below. Hopefully you'll enjoy them. It's something that I've certainly listened to before. I'm not a huge reader, but audio books, podcasts, you can find some real, real golden information from these sorts of things, uh, whether it be golf psychology, sport in general there are lots of transferable skills from other sports and other experts have explained in podcasts and spoken about i'm by no means an expert but what i'm trying to say here is further your knowledge to the best of your ability and there's no better time to dedicate it than unfortunately during lockdown we've got to look for these silver linings right point number three is rejuvenate your equipment I'll leave a card above for Joe's video on how to clean your clubs effectively. Really, really good. It's not just a case of scrubbing with a brush on the on the club face. We learn how to clean the grips. We can get some more life out of our grips. We can get them feeling fresh, ready to go again when we're allowed to play golf. That's something that will be really, really nice for you if we can earmark a day during lockdown to rejuvenate your clubs, clean the club heads, clean all the grooves out, clean the grips so they're ready, bag organized, ready to go and play golf just pick them up wherever you store them and you're ready to go on the first tee safe in the knowledge that you've got clean clubs fresh grips and everything's in your bag ready to go point number four is create an action plan action plans and creating goals are so so important in anything in life but with your golf maybe this action plan will be in the style of new year's resolution sort of thing so your your aim this summer could be start to keep stats start to achieve certain stats improve your short game improve your up and down percentage improve your putts hold from a certain footage hit more fairways whatever it might be it's individual to you it might be a handicap goal whatever it might be we can help you reach out to us uh, follow us on instagram our link is in the description below we always always answer our messages so if there's anything that you need to know or want some guidance on, reach out to us. We are here to help. This is the reason that we started the channel and that's the reason we're continuing to make videos on this channel, purely because we enjoy it. Our main goal is to improve your game the best we can. Point number five is the most important one 
and it's watch below par. We've got a few videos out now. We've been running for around a year and we've been overwhelmed with the support, overwhelmed with the views that we're getting too on certain videos. And we really appreciate the support. We've built a really, really nice community here on Below Par and we want to see that grow into 2021. Uh, we will continue to make videos and hopefully you enjoy them. At the moment, we're a little bit limited, like I've said, and the whole reason for this video is we're not allowed on the golf course. As soon as we're allowed back out there, Joe and I have plans to get together and film more videos. We have plenty more plans into 2021 is what I'm trying to say. And hopefully these tips and the video quality will continue to improve. And if it improves your golf game, we are happy. We're trying to create a big variety on the channel for certain golfers to choose, pick and choose which videos they would like to watch. Whether it be a review, whether it be uh, playing out on the golf course, whether it be a golf lesson on a certain aspect of the game, or even product testing. Whatever this might be, if you're on board with us, we're glad to have you. Let's recap all five points then. So number one, exercise. We know that it's so, so important to exercise just in general life but it really will help you when you get back out onto the golf course. Maybe you won't be carrying that extra few pounds that maybe you uh, expected to after lockdown. You'll be feeling better about yourself. Your golf game will benefit as a result and you haven't even done any technical swing work. There's so many rabbit holes that golfers can fall down when it comes to practicing golf and technical swing work is the first mistake that I see a lot of people make. You can improve your game in so many other areas other than drilling on the range for hours on end and digging yourself a big big hole that you can't find your way out of of course that's important but we would like you to think about all the other elements that add up to a good golf game number two read listen to podcasts listen to audiobooks again i've linked some in the description and hopefully you'll enjoy them and and let us know how you get on with them if you get a chance to do this during lockdown, I hope you have got that time. Number three, rejuvenate equipment. Really, really important. You'll thank us for this one. It's only gonna take a couple of hours at most to prepare this. And there's no better feeling than stepping out onto the golf course with a fresh bag, clean clubs, ready to go on the first tee. You don't have to worry about whether you've got enough golf balls, whether you need to scrape out the groove for your first wedge shot of the day. You'll thank us for that one. Four, create an action plan come up with some goals let us know down in the comments below what goals you have set and maybe come back to the video or let us know on instagram in six months time and see if you've achieved them let us know that you've achieved your goals and number five watch below par you've watched this video thank you very very much for watching this video if you haven't already please do subscribe and we will catch you in the next one